Um, the last few months, I, I just I feel like I've gotten a little better. Yeah, each week, just just trying to focus on little things that I, I didn't focus on the week before, and that's what Coach Beatty preaches: is get the little things right, and everything else will fall in place. What's been the biggest difference with, with as a group, the younger guys sort of making plays? Maybe that I mean, obviously you made a few the first game, but more consistent threat, you know, in terms of downfield offense, you know, downfield passing offense. Can you ask me that again? I'm sorry. What's been the biggest difference with, with as a group the last few weeks in terms of being being more consistent threat, making those plays down the field? Um, from like what I've heard from like the older guys, like our practice habits weren't as good at first and they're starting to get better and I think that's what's kind of helping us come along and, and Tavon preaches that the older guys in the room they preach that like get, like get your practice habits right and he's one of the hardest workers I know and just kind of like following by him and actually seeing how it's supposed to go to later it gets on in the season it, I think that's what kind of helped them. Just just look like like I said before little things within little drills like within routes just the small things really just focusing on those. Now the staff is kept up together. Would you guys like to see the staff return next year to Canada get the job full time? I'm, I mean, of course, like I'm comfortable with these guys because most of these guys recruited me, and, and I, I, I like I really like Canada and what he's doing. He's kept us together, like you said. Um, but I mean, all, all I can do is control what I control. So whatever happens, happens. What, what has he done specifically to keep you guys together? That's kind of the wording everyone uses. But what type messages is he giving to you guys, just, and how, how has he done? It? Just stay together, stay within our room. Don't let like outsiders get in and kind of just keep us all together and stay tight for one another. And, and the other after the game the other day, uh, Trey was talking about what a good communicator he is. Uh, what do you see? I mean, what what would you say his best trait is as a coach? I, I would have to agree with Trey on that one. Okay. His communication, because he if he if he sees one little thing, he's gonna let us know what it is and what he needs, what he wants us to do to get it done, and and that's what he does best. I think. What, what did he tell you after the fumble on on, on, on Saturday? Uh, actually, he told me he just told me to get it back and, and, and stay in it. Don't don't get too too far out because uh, he's just like he was trying to be on my side and kind of help me out because he knew I was a little frustrated about it. Mm -hmm. So uh, he just came and let me know. He's like, I'm on your side. I, I trusted you. So like, let's just get it back. I assume that was the same play set up that you threw the touchdown pass on, or was it different? Uh, it was a little different. Oh, okay. It was different. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the DC Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Uh, Coach Beatty. Chris Brady, yes, definitely. He's just like he's been doing this for a while, and, and I trust him throughout the whole recruiting process getting here. So, like while I'm here, I kind of go to him about little things, and I, and I think he's helped me a lot with, with a lot of different things, which is keeping my head on straight with my grades and everything. Just like being able to help me balance out kind of football and school and life, and he's helped me. He's helped me with a lot of different things. How long have you seen Pig grow? Um, Pig. These last couple of weeks, he, he, uh, when the team got hurt, he did, he did, I think he did a great job when he came here against Indiana. Uh, I believe he went like 10 for 13, and I think that's pretty good. And I, I mean, I've seen him progress really well. It, with him in the game, I think it gives the offense a, a couple different options. And uh, yeah, I think he's progressed really well the last couple of weeks. Uh, on, the, more. on the last play of the game, uh, it looked like you had stopped. And, and, and was, was the play, I mean, how was that play designed? Uh, with the play designed, you, like I stop usually, so I mean we I, we just missed honestly on that on that it's, we just missed. I mean I don't, I don't think it'll happen again because uh, we just missed on. Is there anything the staff does to kind of help you move on from that and not beat yourself up too much? Like I mean just being supportive, like everybody after the game, because I, I was I was a little upset. Um, uh, like they just everybody's been supportive, just like just keep your head up. I mean one play doesn't define the whole game, and just let them know like. Because a lot of people were surprised that we were even that close. So, I mean, I, just, I wish we would have put it off, but everybody was just telling me to keep my head on the street, just stay focused. We got one more. Coach talked about after the game, everybody looking forward to Maryland, looking ahead in Maryland, and, 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 and thinking it might be, you know, because of everything that's gone on this year, even tougher next year. But he said that there's a lot of talent here. There's still a lot of talent that's left. Do you guys feel that way? Like, 
people will maybe underrate the talent that's left here. Most definitely, especially from our young guys. And, and I, I think that we, like, as a team, I think we're just, I think it's crazy like how, how much time we really have and what we can do. And I, I can't wait to see how, how it turns out. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Jason. Thanks.